Hello students, myself Aparna uh, from MS Education Academy. Uh, we all know from 15th onwards we have practical examinations in Board of Intermediate, you are all aware of that. I will make you comfortable with the botany practical point of view and it is very simple and let us see what is there in our syllabus and what has deleted. If you have clear cut idea about that, it will be very much easy to perform and for preparation also. So after going to the examination hall, what uh, those people will be giving to you and what you need to do, everything we will see. And finally, I will make you tension free regarding botany practicals. Let us see here. First, we will focus on how the question paper will be, pattern of question paper and uh, how many questions we are going to get and uh, what are the different things in each and if you write uh, how many points or what sort of things, how the allotment of marks will be there, everything we will see. So, they will be giving question paper orally and we have three sessions. First one is, uh, we'll, they will be giving a uh, certain tweak to you people when you enters into the examination hall and in that you need to first identify whatever the tweak carefully you need to identify whatever the tweak they have given to you and after seeing that first what are the vegetative characters of that twig you need to find and if you are writing about those vegetative characters, obviously you are going to get one mark for vegetative characters. What sort of root it is, whether it is tap root or fibrous root, any special qualities you are able to notice in that. Based on that, if you write those simple words, it is more than enough to score one mark. After that, technical description of the floral character. We have floral characters calyx, corolla, andricium, gynecium. Automatically after seeing that twig, which family it belongs to, you can easily identify that. Right? So, those uh, that family related floral characters, how many sepals are there, how many petals are there, and how many stamens are there, and how many corpels are there, everything you need to write for that two marks you are going to get. Then after that, which family it belongs to? First of all, after seeing that twig itself, you are going to get that idea. Two things are there. Out of three families, Fabaceae has eliminated. We have only two families, Solanaceae and Liliaceae. One is a dicot family and one is a monocot family. Dicot will have the taproot and reticulate venation. With that reticulate venation of the leaf, you can identify that is Solanaceae member. You can identify and easily you can score one mark by writing the family name. If it is parallel venation, the other family is Liliaceae. Happily, you can identify the family. So, already one mark is there in our account. Then floral formula, this is also very, very easy. And bisexual flower. And if it is Liliaceae, perianth members will be there. If it is Solanaceae, all fives. Calyx five in brackets, Corolla five in brackets, Andricium five not in brackets, Gynecium only two superior ovary. Connection between Andricium and Corolla with curved angle. That's it. Okay. And Liliaceae also very easily. P3 plus 3 in brackets. A3 plus 3. Gynecium 3 underline. Very simple. You can score half mark in that. And floral diagram also. At least you have to. Only two diagrams you can practice it. It is very simple. And then followed by whatever the twig you are identifying. Imaginary diagram with a flower. You draw that. It's giving half mark to you. Then if you cut the flower, TS, transverse section, how the flower is, open that flower and check it out and draw that. Okay. So, uh, with all this, we are getting six marks for the first question. That's over. It is very, very easy. And second one is TS of given material. It is little bit tough. Very tactically, we need to do the things. They will be giving some root or stem. It may be monocot root or dicot root. Maybe monocot stem or dicot stem. 
and here they are asking uh, you people to prepare slide very thin session cutting you need to do with blade or whatever the thing they are going to provide you okay if how much is the thin th thin then the section cutting you can wish under microscope you can see that very clearly very thin session cutting for that how many marks you have seen here three marks they are giving for session cutting okay maximum marks for session cutting then followed by that identification under microscope you are going to identify whether it is monocot root or dicot root first of all if it is a root how will you identify that protoxylum towards the pericycle metoxylum towards the center if only four xylems are there then it is dicot root if many xylems are there that is monocot root okay so if it is monocot stem scattered vascular bundles if it is dicot stem ring shaped vascular bundles with that you can identify okay so after that diagram of that session whatever in your first year intermediate you have drawn for lqs the same diagrams you are supposed to draw for that you are going to get two marks in that totally six marks in this session also you are going to score it very easily okay after that performing experiment is the third one this is the major one and very simple experiments we have here and you need to write aim principle after getting the experiment on what is our aim by doing this experiment that you need to write for that one mark okay then followed by that principle and you don't write any procedure for that it is waste of time you just write what you have observed from that okay so this is also giving six marks so totally 3 6 are 18 marks are there in our account and before doing all these experiment they will be giving an additional sheet to you with the spotters and they will send you people one by one to the spotters we have four spotters okay they'll be covering with a b c d alphabets they'll send you to that place and ask you to identify and come and by sitting here what you have identified for that half mark and certain characters based on what reason you are saying that is as so and so okay for that half mark for one spotter one mark total four spotters we have total four marks from the spotters almost our practical examination over the leftover part is for herbarium five marks or three marks previously it is two marks now herbarium has raised to three marks uh, and record obviously every time we are going to get five marks from the neat representation of the record okay so total eight marks from herbarium and record together remaining 22 marks from our writing part and practical part we are going to get so now let us see this is the way what we need to and you have to represent that very clearly whatever you know that and that means you feel comfortable you write that point okay so next one now coming to the syllabus which is existed and which is deleted now so now plant taxonomy part we have three families i said as i said earlier fabaceae is deleted now you need to focus only on this uh, solanaceae and so this is not there only we have solanaceae and liliaceae go through that so we do not have fabaceae and next let us see that only solanaceae and liliaceae you need to focus from the taxonomy part so we have anatomy wise dicot stem is there monocot stem is there and dicot root and monocot root we already discussed in our discussion now 
so that means all the four session cuttings are there in our syllabus okay remember that live experiments and here you check it out how many we have the four experiments have to be altered among the students by lots in the examination such that every student has to do one experiment that means we have only four live experiments okay based on that uh, whatever the on lot system whatever the experiment you are getting that you need to perform okay so those four live experiments let us see demonstrate the osmosis by potato osmoscope you you know that very well and next followed by study of plasmolysis in epidermal peel of leaf write the aim principle observation and inference our result that is the second one and third one demonstrate the transpiration by cobalt chloride paper method then fourth one is separation of chloroplast pigment by paper chromatography so total four live experiments one is about osmosis and second one is about peel of this in order to see the plasmolysis then followed by transpiration and followed by pigments in leaf by paper chromatography you need to go through these four experiments only from the live experiment session then now about the spotters this is very much important which has deleted on which we need to focus it is already labeled with red color you check it out storage root is not there that is carrot then followed by epiphytic roots velamen roots vanda it is also not there nodular roots uh, that is also not there rhizome is not there comb is not there stem tuber of potato is not there bulb of onion is not there stem tendril passiflora is not there thorns bougainvillea is not there Offset pistia is not there. Filoclade opentia is also not there. And at last, they have provided whatever the questions which are which have deleted from this. So based on that, you just carefully go through on what you need to focus. Also, you check it out. And many more things are deleted. Very few things are existed. So happily, you can cover this for spotters. so now filoclades is also not there reproductive leaves also not there trap leaves also not there so now reproductive morphology we have verticel aster make a note of it verticel aster is existed cyathium inflorescence is there hypanthodium all the special type of inflorescence all the three are present next berry type of fruit is not there hesperidium also not there pepo is not there check it out carefully all the three special types of inflorescence are existed and here pom is not there droop is not there now algae and fungi this under microscope you are going to identify as spotters nostoc is there spirogyra is there rhizopus is there agaricus is there under micro microscopic observation we have four nostoc spirogyra rhizopus agaricus and now bryophyta pteridophyta these are also there mercantia and phanaria is there teris is there then followed by this selaginella is this and gymnosperms and angiosperms cycas microsporophyll and megasporophyll are there pisum is not there and zeamia is also not there many things are not there you go through this video very carefully and this numbers also they have given from 9 to 22 they are not present so here i'll clearly write based on this information you just left over things also i'll write you go through those things those questions for spotters so here one is not there that means 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 is present then followed by 23 24 25 is present next 
thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. These are the things what you need to focus. These are the things what you need not to focus. Okay. So go through these questions only. Get the PDF of this question bank and check it out thoroughly. Board of Intermediate, a practical manual is there, and you go through that manual. Everybody have your own manual. Check the question numbers very carefully and go through those points alone. Whatever I have written with uh, red color and. do your practicals in a very well organized fashion and you can score maximum marks thank you all of you ms education academy preparing world worthy individuals